We are almost out of ammunition and relying on Western arms, says Ukraine. Ukraine's deputy head of military intelligence has said Ukraine is losing against Russia on the front lines and is now almost solely reliant on weapons from the West to keep Russia at bay. This is an artillery war now, said Vadim Smitsky, deputy head of Ukraine's military intelligence. The front lines were now where the future would be decided, he told, and we are losing in terms of artillery. Everything now depends on what the West gives us, said Skabitsky. Ukraine has one artillery piece to 10 to 15 Russian artillery pieces. Our Western partners have given us about 10% of what Ukraine is using, 5,000 to 6,000 artillery rounds a day, according to Skabitsky. We have almost used up all of our artillery ammunition and are now using 155 caliber NATO standard shells, he said, of the ammunition that is fired from artillery pieces. Europe is also delivering lower caliber shells, but as Europe runs out, the amount is getting smaller. The Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, said last week that between 60 and 100 Ukrainian soldiers were dying each day, and a further 500 were being injured. Ukraine has kept the total number of its military losses secret. Skibitsky emphasized the need for the West to supply Ukraine with long-range rocket systems to destroy the Russian artillery pieces from afar. This week, the Ukrainian presidential advisor, Oleksiy Arestovich, told The Guardian that Ukraine needed 60 multiple rocket launchers, many more than the handful promised so far by the UK and US, to have a chance of defeating Russia. Ukraine is set to ask the West for a list of weapons and defensive equipment at the contact group meeting with NATO in Brussels on 15 June. Skibitsky thinks the conflict will remain predominantly an artillery war in the near future, and the number of rocket attacks which can be launched from Russia and have hit civilians will remain at their current rate. In the first month, Russia was constantly striking Ukraine with rockets, but in the last two months it has slowed. Recent figures published by the head of Ukraine's armed forces assert that Russia launches between 10 and 14 a day, as they have. Rockets are expensive to manufacture. Each rocket can cost anywhere between a few hundred thousand dollars to several million. We have noticed that Russia is carrying out far fewer rocket attacks and it has used H-22 rockets. They are old 1970s Soviet rockets, said Skibitsky. This shows that Russia is running low on rockets. Skibitsky said Russia was unable to produce rockets quickly because of the sanctions and that it had used around 60% of its supplies. The sound of sirens has become a daily feature for Ukrainians. Sirens regularly sound in multiple regions simultaneously, but most of the time, for people on the ground, it passes without a bang. According to Skibitsky, each siren signals a rocket has entered Ukrainian airspace, but its impact is not always reported for security reasons. The rockets take anywhere from 40 to 90 minutes to impact, depending on where they are launched from. We don't know where they are going to land, said Skibitsky. He noted that Russia was currently using long-range bombers, which can reach anywhere in Ukraine without leaving Russian airspace.
In terms of the three front lines, Skibitsky said most of Russia's forces were now concentrated in the Donbass region and seeking to occupy the administrative borders of both the Donetsk and Luhansk republics. This was the area, he said, where the artillery battles were the heaviest. In northeast Ukraine, Around Kharkiv, he said Russian forces were focusing on defense after Ukraine's counteroffensive pushed them out of several towns and villages in the region in May. The threat to Kharkiv has lessened, said Skibitsky of Ukraine's second biggest city, which has been shelled regularly since the beginning of the war. Give me two! Hey, put the rush! 